so I decided to go um, red. <laughs> what do you think? This is actually a color called Copper Glaze. And for those of you that are into wigs, this is Renee of Harris and this is Audrey. Audrey's actually a style that's been around a long time, but uh, I'm just now reviewing her. This was sent to me complimentary from Wig Studio One in exchange for a review. I filmed a review for their channel. I don't quite know when it'll go, go up on their channel, but it's a full review. But I wanted to share it with you guys because I really haven't, um, I didn't do a video this week. It was just one of those, you know, I don't know, I have no idea. I mean, I was busy, busy at work, very stressful at work, had a lot of things coming down all at once at work. And so I was really busy with that. Then I thought I would do a vlog and I never really did the vlog. And then I get a couple of ideas for like a collab. I haven't done a collab in a long time um, that I wanted to try to do with a few people. But I never got off my duff about that. And it's just been like, do you ever have one of those weeks? Yesterday, Saturday, was, I just, I said to my mother on the phone this morning when I talked to her, she goes, what did you do yesterday? I said, you know what, Mom, I did nothing. I had a day where I did absolutely nothing. And I, I loved it. You know, I didn't, um, I mean, I did do something because I actually got, I actually did a Zoom class at 8 o'clock, so I did do some work-related stuff on a Saturday. But I never got dressed. <laughs> I stayed in my t-shirt and jammies all day. I never got dressed, right? I, uh, I never put any makeup on, so when I did my Zoom call at 8 o'clock, I just said to everyone, hey, I'm, I'm sitting under my uh, back porch listening to the birds, having a coffee, moderate, moderating this. Um, I'm not turning my camera on. I did it. I didn't because I would have scared them to death, you know, no makeup, my hair not done, nothing. It would have been really frightening. But I, I had a day yesterday where I just didn't want to do anything. And I kept thinking, what the heck? I am so unmotivated. I really don't know what the heck is my problem. But I'm just so unmotivated and I have so much you know to really look forward to you know what I mean so I should be like wicked motivated <laughs> I should just be doing stuff but yesterday was a big nothing for me so I never got a video done I did record today the review on this piece because I wanted to send it off to uh, Wig Studio One so it could go in their their rotation so I did you know I did do that I did send that off but that's about it Jay said to me earlier he said you want to go out for an ice cream I went nah when he came home from golfing this morning, he goes, you want to take a ride up the coast? I said, nah. So I felt really bad because Jay's birthday is June 3rd. And um, we were going to celebrate by going out to dinner. But the place we wanted to go out to dinner with at required reservations. And when I called for reservations, they were booked all day Saturday and Sunday. So we're going to call tomorrow after we hear what the weather's going to be like for next weekend. And see if we can get in, you know, on Saturday or something. So, um, yeah, he got a drone for his birthday. Not from me, <laughs> not from me, from his son and daughter-in-law. Sent, sent him a drone, and um, he's been wanting one, you know, quite frankly, for a number of years, and I've just always considered it to be, like, a big waste. So, um, you know, he can use it for real estate because he can film drone shots of houses and stuff like that. So if he gets really good, who knows, he could probably sell his services we'll see what he does but I think part of the funk for me is just you know I summer's here or almost here and I'm sort of having it like I don't know maybe a pity patty pity patty pity party <coughs> I think I just had a bug fly in my mouth I'll delete that so anyways yeah I was sort of like you know, I feel like I'm having a pity party, you know, type of thing, because I want to go camping. I want to go to the beach, but I'm so spoiled because when I go to the beach, I just walk a few feet and I'm in my camper, my RV. You know, the thought of having to drive down, drive home, just, 
not the same. So I'm kind of like, I'm being a crybaby about that. I did get a couple of new things this week. I did, I got a pair of, uh, two pairs of shoes actually. Got a pair of flip flops. Got a pair of flip flops last week. I wanted to get a eyeshadow palette. I didn't, I was very, very strong. I held off on that. Um, but I, I got a top, I got, I got three tops that I returned to Amazon. They were so disappointing and they looked so gorgeous on everyone else. I got them. They were the thinnest, crappiest tops and they were small. I mean, a size large, I swear to God, it would be like a, a two-year-old size. I couldn't believe it. I looked at that. I said, you got to be kidding me, you know? And then I... Yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to buy any more tops off of Amazon. I did buy some off of Macy's. They haven't come in yet, but I'm not going to buy any more off of Amazon. I'm done. Their clothes is nothing but crap. I'm sorry to all of you ladies that review the Amazon finds and love their clothes. They're, they're, they don't work for me. I'm probably too fat. I'm probably, my body shape is probably too real for those clothes, <laughs> if that makes sense. So, um, so, but I did order two tops from Macy's. I should get them this week, and I'm kind of really looking forward to that. And um, we dewinterized the motorhome. Yeah, yippee, yippee, right? No place to go, but we dewinterized it. And so far, knock on wood, cross your fingers, so far, all the systems seem to be working. Um, it always makes me a little nervous. Because until you actually go out your shakedown cruise the first time camping, you, you never really know. So this week was uh, Crime Con. I know you guys think I'm probably wacky for having like this passion for true crime audio books and podcasts. But anyways, um, Crime, crime Con was this week. And it was in Austin, Texas. I tell you. I would have loved to have gone. Oh my gosh. Anyways, um, you know, all of the, the podcasters that I listen to on a regular basis were there and I thought that was just like so stinking cool. I would have loved it. Now next year it's in Vegas. Vegas, baby. <laughs> I don't know. Next year we've got a lot of trips planned so I don't really know if Vegas is going to be in the books at all for anything like that. But I'm really... But it would be nice. It would be a fun thing to, you know, do something like that. Sorry, yes, I close clothesline in my backyard. It would be a fun thing to do something like that. Close my grill. Oops. Because um, I, I just love that stuff. And, you know, the thought of, of, uh, of, of doing a crime con or a convention like that just sounds amazing to me. So, anyways... Eh, so I wanted to just show you this wig and I'm just going on a gab sesh, right? But um, I do kind of like this. So Jay said to me, he goes, hmm, he says, I kind of think I like you in that copper shade. And I was like, you like me in this copper shade? It's like such a copper shade. It's such a different color. But that's what he said. Five o'clock somewhere. Uh-oh. Oh, look what he's got in his hands. What do you, what do you have in your hands? Tequila, tequila. Sunday night cocktail. Yeah, so do you like this color you said on me, honey? Yeah. Didn't he sound hesitant now? <laughs> well, he, I have to look at it. You are like such a baloney artist. <laughs> so anyways, um, yeah, so he's finally as old as I am. Yeah, 37. No, 67. <laughs> 37, oh my God. <gasps> I don't know why I was thinking of 37. Only because I had posted this picture. I'll superimpose it in here. And it was the two of us in our mid-30s. I think it was like 1989. We weren't even together. We were at a realtor event. And I remember very distinctly the pearl necklace I had on. I love that pearl necklace. And um, it was just beautiful. It was just really beautiful. Of course, I had the dress I had on, a deep V-neck and big big puffy, you know, shoulder pads. It's cute. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I guess I'm just apologizing in a long roundabout way for not having any content on. But and the other thing, too, is my eye has really, really been bothering me. Um, I think this week I'm going to have to go back to the eye doctor because it's really hard for me to even look in bright sunlight, you know. So I think I have to go back to the eye doctor and... Um, 
to have them take a look at it. But I will enclose a clip of this, the inside of the cap, for those of you that are going to watch this for this wig review. Renee of Paris, this is a synthetic wig. It is a workhorse of a wig. I mean, I think it will hold up to almost any conditions. There, It's very basic, so it's very, very affordable. It does not have any kind of a monofilament or monofilament or lace front. It does have permatease, and there's a good amount of permatease. But I think the permatease is kind of needed for the shape. I think the shape is really cute. It's an angled bob. It does have some fringe. So the fringe, the bangs are, I don't hold me to it because I don't have any notes with me. Um, a little under five inches, like 4.75 or something like that. And my forehead is from up here to here is about five inches. So I think it's pretty close. So you can either wear the fringe down if you wanted and like cut it, or you could just sweep it off to the sides like I do. I just sweep it off to the sides. I really like that. I have a long nine inch face. So if you have a shorter face, this will look longer on you and my circumference is 22 inches. This has very little give, very little stretch. So if you have a bigger head than me, this might be too small for you. But depending on the sale going on, you can pick this up for under 100 bucks. And I think the fibers are so pretty and I think it's so realistic. So I wanted to share that with you and just say hello. Sorry for being missing in action. Um, but yeah, once I get my stuff together, <laughs> get back on a regular schedule. Anyways, thank you guys so much. I'll talk to you later. I'm a redhead. <laughs> Just want you to see these fibers close up. You can see the very gentle blending of the darker copper and the lighter copper. And you can see how beautiful these layers are done. They're really done nice and the nape is beautiful. So inside the construction of the cap, you can see a closed lace, sort of a rose design right here. There's lots of permatease in this piece, lots of permatease. And then you can also see that you have the air tabs also have the rose lace design. And it does have some flexibility. There's a, I can feel a stay. Uh, but not like any kind of a really heavy, it's right here actually. And then you have a bra strap adjuster in the back. This is not going to be for anyone that has a super large head. There's your stay in here. A little very delicate metal stay or wire stay here. I have a 22 inch circumference and this fits me snug. So if you have a really big head, I don't believe there's a whole bunch of give here, and it may not be good for someone that has a larger head than I do. But I think she's super pretty, and I like the color. So thank you so much for joining me, and thank you once again to Wig Studio One for sending me this beautiful piece from Renee Paris. This is part of the fashion collection. And as I said earlier, this is not a new piece, but oh, it's a timeless piece. So thank you so much.